let a is equal to a 2 by 2 matrix 3 7 2 5 and b is equal to 2 by 2 matrix 6 8 7 9 verify that a b whole inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse so let us find first a b Three seven two five multiplied with six eight seven and nine, which is equal to multiplication of two matrices row with column. First row with first column will give first element that is three into six eighteen plus seven into seven forty nine, and first row with the second column three into eight twenty four. And 7 into 9, 63. And next, second row with first column 2 into 6, 12, plus 5 into 7, 35. Next, second row with the second column 2 into 8, 16, plus 5 nines are 45. So, which is equal to 18 plus 49 is 50 and 67. And 24 plus 63 is 80 plus 87. And 12 plus 35 is 47. And 16 plus 45 is 40, 10, 50 plus 11, 61. So this is AB. And to find AB inverse, let's find the determinant of AB. Determinant of AB is equal to 67 into 61 minus 87 into 47 so 67 times 61 which comes calculation 4087 and 87 times 47 which comes 4089 so the difference will be negative 2 so we can say determinant of AB is not equal to 0 and hence AB whole inverse exists so we can write AB whole inverse exists so and we can find AB whole inverse is equal to 1 by data of AB and adjoint of AB. So determinant of AB is minus 2 and adjoint we can write since for 2, two by 2 matrix ABCD adjoint of the matrix is interchanging the diagonal that is D and A and in remaining elements changing the sign that is minus B minus C will be the adjoint. So we can write here. So 61 and 67 will be interchanged and remaining elements minus 87 and minus 47. So this will be your AB whole inverse. And now let us find B inverse. So let's find the determinant of A and determinant of B separately. Debt of A is equal to determinant of 3, 7, 2, 5, that is 3, 5 is a 15 minus 7, 2 is a 14, which is equal to 1, which is not equal to 0. So, A inverse exists. Similarly, determinant of B is equal to determinant of 6, 8, 7, 9, which is equal to 6, 9 is a 54 minus 7, 8 is a 56, which is negative 2, so not equal to 0. So, B inverse also exists. And adjoint of, so we can add A inverse is equal to, so 1 by debt A into adjoint of the matrix A. So we can write interchanging 5 and 3 diagonal elements and remaining elements negative sign. So we can write 5 minus 7 minus 2, 3 is the matrix. And similarly B inverse is equal to 1 by minus 2 times of adjoint of the B is 9 and 6 here, interchanging the elements minus 8 and minus 7. So we can read, we can also write this as 1 by 2 times or minus 1 by 2 let it, let it be. Now let's find the B inverse into A inverse. 
consider b inverse into a inverse which is equal to minus 1 by 2 times 9 minus 8 minus 7 6 into a inverse is 5 minus 7 minus 2 and 3 so negative 1 by 2 times of let us multiply this to row with column 9 into 5 45 and minus 8 into minus 2 is plus 16 and next 9 into minus 7 7 and the 63 and minus 8 into 3 is minus 24 and then minus 7 into 5 minus 35 and 6 twos are 12 and again minus 7 into minus 7 is 49 plus 6 threes are 18 so we can write minus 1 by 2 times of 45 plus 16 is 6, 61 and minus negative 63 negative 24 is negative 87 and minus 35 minus 12 is minus 47 and 49 plus 18 is 67 and you can see that data of ab is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 times of 61 minus 87 minus 47 67 and b inverse a inverse is also the same and hence we can conclude that hence a b whole inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse both are same okay